My name is Carol Lee, and I'm a professor at the University of Wisconsin. And currently, I've been working at the Biodiversity Research Center at Academia Sinica in Taipei, Taiwan. And I am a Fulbright Senior Scholar for the years 2014 to 2015. What I was doing was a collaborative project between my lab and uh, the lab of Wencheng Li, who's the director of the Biodiversity Research Center at Academia Sinica. And uh, he used to be at the University of Chicago in the United States, and he's a famous, famous scientist in the US. He's a National Academy member. And we basically integrated our expertise uh, my lab in evolutionary physiology and his lab in uh, bioinformatics and evolutionary genomics. And basically what we were interested in, major adaptations going from marine habitats to freshwater onto land. And we were interested in the major adaptations associated with terrestrial adaptations across the arthropoda. And the reason that this is interesting is much of what we know about arthropoda and their physiology and adaptations has predominantly been focused on what is known uh, from studies of Drosophila, the fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster. And uh, part of, in part, this is due to the fact that the fruit fly has long been a model system in medical studies. However, um, Drosophila is only one tiny clade out of the arthropoda, and much has remained unknown regarding other major groups of arthropods, which are the bugs, essentially. So um, I'm part of what's called the I5K uh, 35 uh, Arthropod Genomes Project, where we sequenced arthropods across the diversity of the phylum. And we have in, uh, amassed an enormous amount of data. And we're using these data to try to understand what are the adaptations during these major colonizations onto land in these very distant groups. And that is going to greatly increase, revolutionize our understanding of arthropod physiology and their evolutionary history. Well, a lot of what we did was develop the methodology and the pipeline. Like, how can we query all these genomes? Um, what are the strategies that we're going to do? Uh, which genes are we going to choose, which ones are the most important ones for terrestrial um, adaptation and, and the development during ontogeny of these structures that are important and essential for living on land. So we essentially um, basically tried to figure out the best approach for how to go about this from a computational perspective. And um, then we have developed strategies for how we're going to collaborate and investigate the validation of our results. Taiwan is really beautiful. The high mountain, the beaches, the south, it's absolutely stunning. The biodiversity is incredible. There's a really high amount of endemism. There's a lot of endemic species that are found only in Taiwan. And um, it's an incredible biodiversity hotspot. There are two climate zones that merge, and uh, incredible biological resources here. I think this particular project is incredibly valuable from the taxpayer perspective, because the world's expert in this field is here in Taiwan. The lab of Wen Chung Li. Wen Chung Li is the father of molecular evolution. He wrote the Bible, OK? And if I didn't come here and work with people in his lab, I would not benefit from this expertise. And the only way to do that is to come here and actually work with him and to collaborate with his lab. They have this amazing computing facility. They have, they're the world's experts in this field. They have all this bioinformatics ability. Um, basically, he's the leader of the field. So this small amount of money to pay me to just come over here for a few months is setting up an incredible collaboration where I could bring this expertise back to the U.S.